This work in many ways addresses the legacy of uh, 19th century imperial powers. Uh, 1848 was a crucial moment in, in Europe because that's when you had these spontaneous revolutions across the continent um, with news distributed by print media that was very responsible for the formation of the nation states in the 19th century. Um, often they were, there was counter-revolutions, things kind of went, went backwards, but really the democratic reforms that were seen late in the 19th century, early 20th century, had their source in 1848. Of course, other things were kind of uh, buried within them as well. A certain notions of identity which have uh, been uh, problematic and still remain problematic today. When I witnessed the events of uh, 2011, my intuition was that there was some connection between what I was seeing, a, a series of global um, disruptions, a, a global uh, expressions of disquiet or and actually a frustration and, and anger with the, uh, the lack of representation um, in the world by the status quo that manifests in, in very different ways. Some seem quite incompatible, some seem, uh, seem unpolitical, but really in my position is that these are all very uh, political events, even though they were merely policed and forgotten. Uh, at the same time, they represent the same kind of uh, uh, pr problematic that was manifested in 1848, even though it may not result in the same, um, the same kind of reform. <clears throat> in many ways, the real source of all this is the um, Great Recession of 2008, and the various things after that, populism in the U.S., uh, Brexit, all these things have their source in that situation where the status quo did not um, accept the responsibility for, uh, for the people.